Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is someone who's very passionate. So this is someone coming in very boldly. Um, they are making the first move. This person is taking action towards you. This person is pursuing you, and there's a very confident energy coming from this person. They have so much desire towards you. There's an energy of, they could even be acting quite impulsively here, but they can't resist. There's just this strong urge to rush in here. So I do see this person is initiating things here. They feel a spark and they are coming towards you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, Fire Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the King of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so this person is looking at you as stable. They're also looking at you as someone who is partnership material, someone who they could have a stable relationship with. They could have some sort of um, stability with that four of wands. Um, but they are also seeing you as someone who is, it's like they view you as being cautious of them. With that knight of pentacles, you could be, the things between you and this person could have been moving very slowly up until this point. And it's like this person is growing impatient. They are getting tired of things moving slowly. But they are still seeing you as this King of Swords energy. It's like you are aloof towards them. You are um, strict. That's how they're viewing you. But it's like this person, they're losing patience. They want more here. They want to initiate something passionate. They are tired of, you know, being having to prove themselves. Because with that Knight of Pentacles, you could be moving slowly with this person because you want them to... You want to first make sure that they are um, worth committing to or worth moving forward with. And this person is running out of patience. So I do see they're going to make some sort of a very bold move here with that Knight of Wands. It can be quite an impulsive one. But this person, their goal is to have a Four of Wands with you. It's like they see you as they wish fulfillment. They see you as someone they actually want to be in a relationship with. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Is at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so the king of pentacles is showing up as someone stable someone who is a provider someone who is a family man you know there's this energy of someone who is actually good at making stable healthy grounded practical relationships with the king of pentacles this is someone who really gives it their all this is a mature energy and I, I do see this person it's like they want to be the king of pentacles for you they want to give you that type of stability and there is an energy almost of wanting this so badly that they may jump the gun you know it's like perhaps the connection hasn't yet matured enough to be at that point but this person wants it so badly with that knight of wands i do see them making some sort of bold move here um, with the hopes of making a leap towards um, some sort of stability, security, because they do see themselves committing to you, settling down with you, even possibly having a family or a home with you. They want that with you. But there's something about the situation. It's, it's been slow to progress. Um, there's also an energy of um, 
this person hasn't proven themselves to be ready yet, but there's I, I do see them running running low on patience. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the six of wands, fire energy, the five of swords in the reverse, air energy, and eight of swords in the reverse, air energy. So this person views you as someone who is stalling. They see you as someone who is Potentially even it's like they could be perceiving this as you wanting the upper hand or playing games a mind game with them um, And they kind of want to cut that out. This person just wants to be direct. This person wants things to be Obvious they want things to be easier when it comes to this connection um, They feel like they've been stuck like they, they haven't been able to make a move because this person perceives themselves as not having the control in this connection and so for a long time this person felt like they were trapped and that they couldn't take action and i do see them freeing themselves of that this eight of swords energy this trapping feeling it could be their own mind that's making them think that you could have even not done anything to make them think that but they are perceiving you as having the upper hand in this connection and them having to wait on you that's how they were viewing it and they for that reason they felt stuck but i, I do see this person is freeing themselves from that energy and for because of that they're able to take action the six of wands is again showing that this person wants to make something official with you they want this connection to be a defined relationship they want to move things to the next level they they are ready for this connection to move forward they want things to be more um accelerated okay so i'm gonna put out an oracle card for you virgo So the card says, what do you need to release? Waning moon. So we have the eight, there's five of swords here as well as the eight of swords and the king of swords. There may be a need um, for one or both of you to release control or the need to control the connection or the situation because it is stagnating the situation. Um, there is an energy here of someone who genuinely wants some sort of solid partnership with you or a, a relationship here that's fulfilling. And... Um, Something about control is slowing things down and there, there may be a need to release that here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. card says healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so it could be some traumas here that are stemming from childhood um also limiting beliefs with the eight of swords there and i do see it's causing some sort of friction between you and this person but with the five of swords being in the reverse they want to release that tension this person wants to be on good terms they want to skip to the loving they want to skip to the four of wands they don't want to be stuck in this energy okay so i'm gonna put another card for you Virgo. Okay, so the card says Primrose, youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. This person is very, very attracted to you, very in love with you even with this card. There's an energy of feeling so passionately about you um, and they just want this connection to become more uh, defined in some way. They, they want it to be known. This person wants to know that you return their feelings because they do see us a bit cold with that King of Swords energy you are a bit cautious towards them and it's like they they want to put an end to that they want you to want them as much as they want you okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo